Here we are going to solve for the result of the set of operations and matrices here presented in six items. Now the operations here cover the first three operations, addition, subtraction, and scalar multiple, including the um, the concept of transpose. So we are going to use them in solving this. Let's start first with the first item, twice the transpose of A plus C. Before we could start, it may take time for some of us, so it would be better if we are going to check whether the result is defined. Because if it's undefined, no need to stress yourselves with that. The um, transpose of A is a 2 by 3 matrix. C is also a 2 by 3 matrix. And for addition, we just need for uh, the matrices to have the same size. And since uh, transpose of A and C under addition, have the same sizes so we can proceed with the result because the result should be defined but first let's start with twice transpose of a twice transpose of a is where we multiply two to all the entries in transpose of a that becomes six negative two positive two zero four and positive two then for c is going to copy it here for reference, C is 1, 4, 2, 3, 1, and 5. In short, when we add the trans uh, twice transpose of A and C, we will just simply add the entries, the corresponding entries of both matrices. So 6 plus 1, I have 7. Negative 2 plus 4, I have positive 2. 2 plus 2, I have 4. 0. Plus a 3 is a 3, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 5 is 7. This is the result for the first item. For the second item, it uses the concept of a transpose, but we already have the, the transpose here for both matrix E and D, and both of them are a 3 by 3 matrix. And since these are subject to subtraction, and we just need to look at the same uh, sizes of the matrix. And therefore, the result is defined. And since it's defined, we can proceed with the difference. And since already uh, the transpose of D and transpose of E are already given, we simply proceed with their difference. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Negative 1 minus negative 1, that's 0. 3 minus 4, negative 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 2 minus 1, another negative 1. I'm sorry, that's negative 1. That's positive 1. 2 minus 3, negative 1. 1 minus 2, negative 1. 4 minus 3, positive 1. This is the result for the second item. Now the third item, don't be confused with that, we are to solve first the difference of D and E before taking the transpose of the result. And since D and E are already given, and they are both 3 by 3 matrices, for in short, for subtraction process, the result, the result rather should be defined. And the result for the first, let's start with D minus E. So we take the results. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is actually 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 2, negative 1. 3 minus 4, another negative 1. 2 minus 1 is positive 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. So after this, the transpose of the result shall be negative 5. Your main diagonal is still as it is, but all other uh, results shall be interchanged from row to column respectively. We have 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1, and have a positive 1, negative 1. Okay. Notice the result of the second and the third item. We have the same results because this is under a property which tells us 
that the difference of the transpose of two specific um, identified matrices is just equal to the transpose of their difference. Nevertheless, that is the answer. Let's proceed to number three. We have uh, the transpose of B plus 5 times the transpose of C. Let's check whether this is defined or not, because if it's not, let's not proceed with the process. The, the transpose of B is here. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. Again, 2 by 2 matrix. The transpose of C is here. It's a 2 by, uh, sorry, it's a 3 by 2. 3 rows and 2 columns for a matrix. We can still get the result for 5 times the transpose of C. However, since the question is about the sum of the 2, and since it, it's clear that it's undefined, so this is what I mentioned earlier, we can save time and say the result is undefined. So let's proceed to the fifth one. So we have one half of uh, transpose of C as mentioned. This is a 3 by 2 matrix. And your A here is also 3 by, sorry, that's by 2. In short, their difference is defined later. But let's start with one half of the transpose of C. One half means multiply all entries by one half. So you have here the entries, so one here at the top. So one times one half is one half. Then three times one half is three halves. Then four times one half is two. Then one times one half is one half. Again, here are the details. Then two times one half is one. And five times one half is five halves. Okay. Next, for the one four of A. And your A is here at the top. Okay. I don't know if we could type it out. I'm going to write it here, A. So that uh, we will not be uh, scrolling up and down from time to time. 3, 0, negative 1, 2, 1, 1. So 1 fourth of that, I have 3 fourths, 0, negative 1 fourth. Uh, 1 fourth of 2 is 1 half. You have here 1 fourth and positive 1 fourth. Now we take the difference. So 1 half of the transpose of C minus 1 fourth of A. Take their difference. 1 half minus 3 fourths is a negative 1 fourth. 3 halves minus 0 is still 3 halves. 2 minus negative 1 fourth. Again, minus negative 1 fourth becomes plus. That's 9 fourths. Then 1 half minus 1 half, 0. 1 minus 1 fourth, I have 3 fourths. And 5 halves minus 1 fourth. 5 halves is, in terms of fourths, is actually 10 fourths minus 1 fourth. I have 9 fourths. This is the result for the fifth um, item. Now, for the last item, we already have here our transpose of E and transpose of D. Let's start with twice transpose of E. So simply multiply all the entries here by 2, 12, negative 2, 8, 2, 2, 2, 6, 4, 6. This is for twice the transpose of E. Um, just do this a bit. So there would be no confusion. Smart. Now, thrice the transpose of D. So multiply all entries by 3 for this. So I have 3, negative 3, 9, uh, for what? Move a little bit more than 9. Okay? Then 5, I have 15. The 0 becomes 0. The 2 becomes 6. The 2 becomes 6. The 1 becomes 3. And the 4 becomes 12. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what happened. So I became a number of page. Pardon me for that. So I have here this. And finally, 
for their difference twice the transpose of E minus the thrice the transpose of D simply subtract their results 12 minus 3 9 negative 2 minus negative 3 that becomes plus a 3 1 8 minus 9 negative 1 2 minus 15 negative 13 2 minus 0 is 2 2 minus 6 negative 4 6 minus 6 0 4 minus uh, 3 1 and 6 minus 12 is negative 6 so this is the result for the last set of operations so this is all about the six items presented here and one of which is undefined because of the uh, not the possibility of a defined matrix as the result. Okay. Thank you for watching.